before I, no we, began on this marvelous journey into the first part of 19, discussing how your unique spiritual being, because of your vibrations, royal bloodline, and spiritual family. First, I must discuss my resources. Links in the description to help you figure out what star family you are most likely born into, your astrological geographic ley line connection, and fruit that will most replenish your soul. Also, if this video intrigues you and you wish to further your connection to your star seeds lineage, please purchase my special brain crystals that I created for my own advanced consciousness to share with all of you less developed on the path. Now, getting to the content of the video. The 47 signs you might be a star seed. Have you ever felt like you didn't truly belong to your family? Have you ever felt like you gained consciousness beyond your parents at a very young age? Did you ever fear or feel a spiritual kinship with the stories of Norwegian changelings stealing babies and replacing said babies with miniature versions of themselves? If so, you might be a starseed. Going back to the point of gaining a higher percentage of consciousness greater than your parents. This can be explained through one of three reasons. A. You may also be a descendant of one of the great bloodlines, and you were sent to purify it. Whether it be an Atlantean, a Sumerian, a quasi quatlin or an Egyptian, you come from one of the, these great houses. Your family, however, has become corrupted over the centuries, and that's why your dad drinks. It's your job to reproduce and purify your bloodline by intermingling with people who only share your same beliefs. In this way, you may purify the bad vibes your family has produced for generations. B. You grew up in an abusive household, and a lot of people told you to get help, but you refused to. Good thing you did, because those suggestions might have helped you work through your childhood trauma and helped you develop beyond being an adult child who's hyper capable of some things and completely incapable of functioning as a full adult. You definitely don't need assistance in improving yourself because that would have stifled your growing understanding of your own superiority. Point seven. Other issues you can blame on being starred seed include drug addiction, overwhelming escapist behavior, an inability to form meaningful connections with your peers, Fear of bright lights, fear of loud sounds, being unfit physically, inability to understand the working of a monetary system, a general disconnection between you and your family, and any other trait that makes you feel unfit of fitting into normal human society. Remember, all these things aren't personal failings, mental illnesses that need to be treated, or simply unfortunate burdens of birth, but instead are things that make you super duper special and unlike everyone else. Point 12. Do you feel like you have a special trait like photographic memory or high IQ, though you are incapable of passing any textbook definition of such trait? Don't worry, you do have them, and that definitely proves you're a starseed. Point 5. Do you practice Reiki or telepathic healing? No? Are you interested in practicing Reiki or telepathic healing? For the low price of $100 per one hour session, I can teach you over Zoom how to become a Reiki slash telepathic healing master. As you are most likely a star scene, you will excel in such practices, practices and is the surest fire way to check if you are a star seed. Number eight, have people commented all over your life, all of your life, how beautiful your eyes are. You see, most star seeds transmit energy through their eyes to other people. So, what the feeble-minded understand as beauty is really you sending healing energy to them. It's just happenstance that beautiful eyes are typically connected to Western standards of beauty, meaning that beautiful eyes will most often be connected to white people who happen to practice these beliefs. Number seven, talking about things that definitely aren't because you're white, and usually middle to upper middle class. Everything always seems to work out for you. Like every time you mess up, everything just turns out all right. That's because the Grand Trine, the mystical ley lines, based on a twisted version of ancient Chinese understandings of elements, are protecting you, not because you're in a privileged class. Number 18. If you never knew you were a starseed, 
that also might be a sign that you are one. Just because the concept of a star seed lacks any true historical precedence, and New Age religion as a whole is a bastardization of several pagan religions mixed with a modern pseudoscience, doesn't mean this isn't true. It's just the dark nev negative energies in the universe that have suppressed this human knowledge of star seeds for generations. Do you want more proof? Number 12. There have been numerous star seeds throughout history, like Aristotle. Plato, and other random philosophers and thinkers we arbitrarily accept into our rank, postmortemly so they're incapable of sending themselves against these ludicrous accusations. Number 22. This, th this one actually isn't a joke. I've heard a lot of people saying that if you're LGBTQ2+, you're most likely a starseed because of like some weird concept that they are once point called Uranians, which I cannot find any proof on whatsoever. Um... I won't belittle this point or make fun of it, it's just simply, um, fuck you. Comparing your pseudo-divinity like, pseudo self-importance to the struggling of a trans person is fucked up, fuck you. Um, when people are talking about appropriating cultures, they're speaking about you. Um, but this is a whole rant for another time. Trans rights are human rights, and pretending you have the identical struggle as somebody with gender dysmorphia because you think you were born out of some fucking star energy, bullshit is disgusting. Number 36. Remember, you are a blessing to humanity if you are a starseed. You've chosen to take several steps down in awareness so you may dwell around the dumb Neanderthals of this world. Your presence is a gift, and all people who have come in contact with you will be better off for having met you, even if they don't know it themselves. Number 32. Taking the last point into consideration, the logical conclusion of this means that even if you've hurt another person, you're still doing right by them, because you're incapable of sin and error, for you give out nothing but good vibes, making you, in essence, a true god. Number 48. If you dream in another language, you might be a starseed, especially if that language doesn't connect to any language on Earth. That's your star daddy council trying to get in touch with you to guide you. So you may guide the lowly sheep of humanity. Please ignore the fact that this is oddly like the story of Abrahamic religions that you all claim to hate. Number 14. If you're born under the following days, you might be a starseed. July 4th, December 25th, May 25th, November 26th, or October 12th. This is because during these days, the universe is in peak planar alignment for star energy to be transferred to Earth. Those are my 47 signs, based on the most recent and cutting-edge research of how to determine if you're a starseed. As stated in the beginning of this episode, links below to find out more about starseeds and your potential star her her heritage. The next installment will be out in the next month to decade. Thank you all.